Hey, coming at you again. We got a short video today on the auto ionization constant of water. Uh, if I can find my slides, they don't exist. Ah, there they are. All right. So, a few things we've already seen before. We've looked at reversible reactions. Um, we know about dynamic equilibrium. So, this is the auto ionization of water. You think about water and a population of water molecules and that they're just H2O, but that isn't really the case when you look much closer. Water is, like it says here, amphoteric. What does that mean? It means sometimes it can be an acid and sometimes it can be a base. What happens in that glass of water is we have that large uh, population of water molecules. Well, the vast majority of them are H2O, but what we'll actually see is that some small number of them will come into contact with other water molecules and we'll see one water molecule acting as an acid when protonating the other water molecule acting as a base. So some small percentage of the molecules in this container of water are gonna be H3O pluses and some small amount are gonna be OH minuses. Now, in a normal glass of water that has a neutral pH, the quantities of those H3O pluses and those OH minuses should be equal. So 99.9% .9 of the solutions are going to be H2O and 0.05% would be H3O plus and 0.05% would be OH minus. So like it says here, in any normal uh, solution of water at 25 degrees, the uh, amount of the acidic ions and the amount of the basic ions should be equal. We should be pH neutral. And what we're going to see for the auto ionization constant of water is it is equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 14. And it's going to be equal to those two potential ions. So again, really just equilibrium constant, subscript W. So in this case, it's the equilibrium constant for water. The two things that are species that are present, the two products are the H3O plus and the OH minus equaling that. And of course, if they have to equal 1 times 10 to the negative 14, each one would be at a concentration of one times 10 to the negative seven. So that would look like this. So this would have to be at that concentration, which would be identical to this concentration. Oh. And that would be equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 14. We take 1 times 10 to the negative 7 times 1 times 10 to the negative 7, and we get that. What else does that mean? That means that we can make assumptions then about these concentrations. If we aren't sure if the solution is acidic, we could check. If the concentration of that acidic ion, that H3O plus, is greater than 1 times 10 to the negative 7, that would mean the concentration of the basic ion, the OH minus, would be, have to be less than that. The acidic part would have to be in a higher concentration from the basic part. So we can make assumptions about that concentration based on whether or not it's equal to or above or below that 1 times 10 to the negative 7. Basic solutions would be the opposite. The OH minus ion in this case now would have to be greater than that neutral concentration. And as one goes up, the other would go down. So HCO concentrations of three solutions at room temperature are as follows. Which sol sol ugh, solution is acidic? So we have these three examples here. If you wanted, we could actually work this out. We could figure out what exactly is the basic concentration. So if the H3O concentration for one was one times 10 to the negative three. We know that the H3O plus ion times the OH minus ion has to equal one times 10 to the negative 14. So in this case, if I have one times 10 to the negative three times the OH minus concentration, which we don't know, equals the auto ionization constant of water, we can actually find the only missing part here, which is the uh, concentration of the OH minus ion. So I multiply or divide each side by the H3O plus ion concentration. 
And we can see in this case, the OH minus concentration is one times 10 to the negative 11. So that is noticeably smaller than the acid ion concentration, the H3O plus. So if you can't visualize this initial, initially, you can always carry out the math on this and you can see. But really it just breaks down to, is the number above or below or equal to one times 10 to the negative seven? In this case, A is the only one that is greater than that, so A would be the acidic solution. B would be a neutral solution, and C would actually be a basic solution. Um, so we'll stop there. Big takeaways. What's the autoionization constant of water? One times 10 to the negative 14. And of course, know that that's equal to the hydronium ion concentration, the H3O plus, and the hydroxide ion concentration multiplied equals that. Uh, so we'll stop there. Short little video, but important concept, very useful for figuring some things out. All right, have a good day. Auf Wiedersehen. And